Hi guys. Um, so a couple months ago, I did a show, my first college show. Um, it was kind of like a, a talent show. It was a showcase, and um, I did a monologue. And I did a monologue, a Voldemort's monologue from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the movie, because um, the book in the book is very different. And um, at the time, I actually had pneumonia. So uploading it was not on my mind at all, but my mom did take a video, and um, <clears throat> watching it, it, my voice is a little kind of gross, but I didn't cough, so I'm going to up upload it anyway, and um, the first bit of it is cut off, um, she didn't start filming until like a few seconds in, so unfortunately um, it starts a little bit after I start, but I hope you enjoy it. And as you guys may or may not know, I don't know, um, if you have been watching my channel or if you know me, um, you know that I'm very much into theater and, oh, so, um, yeah, so, anyway, and in future reference, um, I am interning at musical camp this summer and we're doing, I'm doing, um, the Columbia Theater Projects, the Actors Attic, um, uh, show festival, summer festival again this year, and so I'm sure I'll probably have videos and pictures to upload from those st those things as well. So uh, anyway, here's my video. Thanks. introduce you, but work has it you're almost famous as me these days. A boy who lives. How lies have affected your legend here. Shall I truly reveal what happened that night 13 years ago? Shall I divulge how I truly lost my powers? Shall I? I shall. It was love. You see, when sweet, dear Lily Potter gave her life for her only son, she provided the ultimate protection. I could not touch him. It was old magic, something I shouldn't have foreseen. But no matter, no matter, things have changed. I can touch you now. <laughs> Astonishing what a few drops of your blood will do. Hey, Harry, pick up your wand, Potter. Said, pick it up. Get up. Get up! Yes. You've been taught how to duel, I presume, yes? First, we bow to each other. Come now, Harry, the necessities must be practiced. Dumbledore wouldn't want you to forget in our manners, would he? I said bow! That's better. Now, Crucio! <laughs> Crucio! Oh, a boy, Harry. Your parents would be so proud, especially your filthy, muggle mother. Get up. I'm going to kill you, Harry Potter. No one will ever again question my powers. When they speak of you, they will only speak how you begged for death. And I, being a merciful lord, obliged. Get up. Don't you turn your back on me, Harry Potter. I want you to look at me when I kill you. I want to see the lights. Leave your eyes. Thank you. 